What's up, you turd pirate rectum jockeys? Your mama's so fat, her shadow has diabetes. Mm. I don't know what makes you so stupid, but it really works. It's your boy, Rob, and apparently, I'm an asshole. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for coming to the show. I'm going to keep this one pretty quick. I got some things to do today. It is what it is. Uh, if you're new, um, hey, hey. Mm. Doesn't get much better than that, but we do try. But uh, for those of you who are new, here's what we do here. We get on Reddit and we look at these stories that were submitted uh, called Am I the Asshole? And people write in their stories and they want to know, you know, random people on the internet's opinion about it. <sighs> You're okay. Most of the time I try to stay off of Reddit though because the commenters are just a holes. I say this every episode. So, um, but it's true. So, I made a Twitter so that people could submit directly, uh, twitter.com backslash asshole am I the, or you can email it at am I the a hole 22 at gmail.com. And in this way, I don't have to deal with the Reddit commenters and all this other stuff. I actually, people have asked me this question and I'll answer it in this episode. Every time I read something from Reddit, I actually post what I read, uh, what I said back, my verdict on the channel. And, oh, we go into it. I, I don't usually disagree with them for this. I don't disagree with them for the sake of disagreeing with them is what I should say. Um, but they're not looking at things from a real world perspective. They're like five or they've never been outside or they've never been married. They've never been divorced. They don't have kids. And they're telling all these people just random shit to do. So um, anyways, fuck all that. Fuck them. Um, but what we do is we look at these stories and we tell people whether they're the asshole, whether they're not the asshole, whether everyone sucks, no one sucks at all, or Colorado, Colo motherfucking Rado. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this one. Here's a couple of reasons why Colorado sucks. Let's make this one quick because it's Colorado. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Not, not to be confused, though, if I find a state that has a lot of shit that I want to talk about, that doesn't mean the state is great either. So, Colorado. Let's start with altitude sickness. No thanks. Ew. I'm, I'm going to be high up and be sick. So then I got to smoke. But it's legal. Ah, fuck that. Altitude sickness. That's stupid. Um, also, while you're up there, it's dry. It's dry as fuck. And don't get me wrong. You know, it rains a lot in the summer. And it blizzards a lot in the in the winter. That's not an adjective like that. But it's dry. And I don't know if you've ever been in a dry blizzard where it's snowing. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but it, it's, yeah, it's fuck. It's, it's horrible. It sucks. Fuck that. Um, the weather sucks. The weather's trash. Um, you know, rain, sleet, hail, snow, sunshine, all that shit. And that's only a random Tuesday. Fuck that. Um, the cost of living is nuts. And I live in LA, so if I say that about anywhere else, I'm like, oh, I mean, the whole country is under some shit. But damn. Like, you need your first last month's the third month and the 17th month just to apply for an apartment you need to make 25 times the rent in order to apply for some shack black fuck that um the traffic denver to denver is an hour away that's really that's they say that a lot and you'll just see pictures you just type in colorado traffic and then on top of that the drivers can't drive so and then on top of that, you add shitty weather conditions. Like, it's it's a whole fucking mess. Yeah, so, you know, Colorado. Sucks for you, buddy. You're trash. Am I the asshole? I told my partner not to tell his, whole, his family the whole story, and he did anyways. Uh, I'm asking because sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy or like I'm toxic. Um, I lost my job last month through a disciplinary process in which I was accused of something I didn't do and decided to quit rather than write it out as I'd been unhappy there for a little while. The circumstances of the situation are very difficult and I struggled with the transition and I'm still ashamed and embarrassed by it all even though it turned out for the better. I landed a better job with insane benefits after a day and a half of resigning. I told my partner that I didn't want his family to know the circumstances of me leaving my last role. He could tell them that I quit under difficult circumstances and that I had to find a new job very quickly, but not all the ins and outs like she was accused of this, gross misconduct, etc., etc. This morning, it turns out he told his mom and brothers everything, despite me asking him not to. And when I said that wasn't OK, calmly 
and he's not respecting my boundaries, he went off at me and accused me of trying to control how he speaks to his family and what about, and arguing that since it's been a while, he thought it'd be okay. He said since it's impacted his life too and that he was staying with me while it happened and all of that, um, no financial, committal, or personal implications on him. It was his experience too and he's allowed to decide how he speaks about it. Am I the asshole for feeling upset about this and am I asking too much? Now she added some context. No, we're not married. We've only been together for a year and I've only met his family a handful of times so it hurts that they don't know me very well and have a negative impression of me. Um, as far as the gross misconduct, I was accused of working for a competitor but have evidence that it wasn't the case but chose to resign right before the investigation had even started rather than use the evidence. I was also on suspension for a total of two days before resigning and that is what I found embarrassing along with the changing job so close to Christmas when I discussed an upcoming promotion at my previous role with my friend's family, etc. And I mentioned it to my boyfriend's family so they'd be knowing that they know that leaving was a flash decision. Okay. Not the asshole. Nah. Um, I just, I, I, I feel some type of way about this one. You're not the asshole because you asked him like, hey, can you keep some of this personal information between us? And he couldn't. And he made you feel bad about it. I don't know if that's gaslighting, but that's really fucked up. And this will cause you guys to slowly detach emotionally because now you might not feel like you can trust him with your personal information. Like some things don't need to be known. Like I get it, some people tell their family everything. And I mean everything. And I don't think that's right. I don't think like you need to know every specific in and out, especially if I feel uncomfortable about it. If I feel uncomfortable, if I feel uncomfortable about it, and I tell you I feel uncomfortable about it and you do it anyways, and then you know, you hit me with the whole, oh, what they asked, so? So if they asked you, you know, what my dick tastes like, are you going to tell them? Especially like your parents, like that's a little weird. So I, I don't, I don't agree that that he should have said that. Like originally, you start off in the intimate trust thing, and then you you separate from that because he's telling your business. So you don't feel safe with your your business with him. And on top of that, you're not married, and honestly, it seems like his family views you as just the girlfriend or just some girl. So he's telling them tea I, I, I'll, I'll let you into my personal shit a little bit too I was married uh, honestly my divorce was the best part of that marriage and my son I was married and at a certain point she had apologized to me randomly um, saying like I'm sorry for her infidelity and I was like what and she's like not what you think infidelity is also like going out outside of your partner for information so she had been telling like her family calls and she don't even really get along with them. She talks so much shit about them. But her family calls, and then they're asking her all these questions. So if it's a time when she's going through something, then she'll say, we are going through something, which I don't have a problem with. But their response is, well, why is he not? And how come he, and he, he, like everything was, you know, revolves around what I'm doing and it's not a partnership. That's a little weird. So yeah, it, it does suck and it deteriorates because then they start talking shit to, to you they started talking shit to my ex and it put little dumbass mental ninja stars in her head. And then she comes to me with the bullshit and I'm blindsided because I'm like, this doesn't actually make sense. And especially when you're telling somebody something out of context and honestly, everybody's opinion about something that happened with their partner is going to be taken out of context. It's, you even might not even have the full story. So you're, you know, you told your boyfriend what happened and how did he make this about him? Like, oh, uh, you know, I was impacted by it. Shut the fuck up, you guys. I, like, for the first time, I'm, I feel like a Redditor being like, you guys should break up. Yeah, this is stupid. Like, he didn't respect your boundaries. He doesn't give a fuck about telling people your business. That, that's a no-no. I, I don't agree with that. Don't tell anybody your fucking business. Y'all gotta keep some shit to yourself. I don't give a fuck if the Pope asks you some shit. Well, I don't give a fuck about the Pope like that. But, you know, everybody... Well, what are they doing? I don't know. Ask them the next time you see them. That would be better. And then tell your partner, like, hey, they asked about this. I said, they, they might ask you next time you see them. But don't just offer up information that you really don't know because you're not living it. Also, you know, you were embarrassed by the shit that happened and then he's telling other people that you got to run into. I've dealt with that too. Anytime somebody tells your business to strangers, and not even strangers, friends, and family members, and then want you to be around these people. Like, I gotta sit around these people who are already judging me. I'm being judged by every single person on this fucking planet. 
And now even in your circle, I got the little judgments and in little circles and little circles. And I'm in the middle of it, standing there with a fucking dish tray. Like, you know, I don't know where the dish tray came from, but it's really fucked up. You know, people stop doing that shit. Like, honestly, keep some shit to y'all. And if you have to tell somebody like, you know, there's online chats for that. You don't even have to pay for a therapist. There's just online people who will listen to you. Matter of fact, I could kind of see the merit of Reddit. Oh, ooh, I must not be feeling well. Anyways, that's yeah, that's really stupid. You're not the asshole. But I, I kind of would reevaluate what's going on with y'all. Y'all only been together for a year. I know that's a long time, but yeah, not when somebody's disrespecting you like that. That's really fucked up. I am so thankful for you, Arthur. Shut up, cunt. Whoa, Arthur. I don't know why I do this thing at the end with my hands. Whatever. Um, another episode in the can. So, you know what we do here. And that was the show. It's been a really crazy holiday season. I don't even want to call it a holiday yet. Um, just a lot's been going on. I'm going to switch gears very soon. I'm going to still keep this show going, obviously. I love this shit. But uh, I'm going to add some cool things. I, I've been saying that for a while, but I think it's going to start um, progressing towards the new year. And um, yeah, I've been doing this for a couple months now, and this really is fun. And I want to add some more to it. So stay tuned. Uh, remember to send your submissions to twitter.com backslash asshole in my the or uh, in my the a-hole 22 at gmail.com. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And then tune in again. You never know. It might be some cool shit. It might be your story. It might be somebody you know. Or not. I don't know. Just tune in anyways. Who cares?